Hello, welcome to Chista.com. I am Denise Turney, and I'm the author of the books Portia and Love Pour Over Me, which is my latest book. And you're watching the Chista channel, C H I S T E L L.com. So today's uh, today's show is going to be on love is trying to tell you something and we get after we get to so many years on in this earth we get used to things and we can get stuck we can get in ruts and it can look like life is either we're living it on a treadmill or we're going around and around in circles which can start to feel frustrating after a while because if you think about it just the four cycles here where i live in georgia we're heading into spring and some areas don't and don't experience the seasons as deeply as others but they do here in georgia we do experience all four of the seasons and things do seem like even in nature like they repeat and repeat and repeat the first time you go through summer it's exciting and spring and autumn and winter but then after many many years of it it's like nothing's going to change it's the way our thinking our courage our our willingness to do something different is where the change comes other than that everything's going to seem like it just keeps repeating repeating oh it's 12 o'clock again it's one o'clock again we have to incorporate or inject change into that and that good change and that comes from courage and the way we live our lives so you don't need to be an experienced meditator to allow change to come in and to see how repetition you you're just you'll be like almost the seasons there are great things that happen in each season but it, it something is causing the change whether it's an animal or an insect something happens that make us go wow whether it's a hummingbird passing by or something change takes action but you have to stop and ask yourself what is love trying to tell you pay attention to the messages that you receive uh, they could be something that's helping to lead you to greater joy and peace it could be something that you might be stuck on the fact that a relationship a job something that you've gotten accustomed to it just keeps going around and around talking about the circle again the patterns the repetition something's coming to try to insert itself into that if you've been very disappointed and sad about something for a long time there could be something trying to interrupt that it could be love trying to tell you something a new relationship a new job uh, a, a new way to approach something a new way to use your mind and think so that you're more open to joy than to frustration and depression so, love could be trying to tell you something you don't have to listen though and that's the thing so do you worry about getting stuck in traffic if you uh, took a friend took a friend up or joined them for dinner after work oh, how does you how do you how does your mind handle these types of things do you worry that you'll uh, you'll get turned around turned down for a better job so you fear even applying for a job i think that's one of the reasons we had a, a speaker on uh, off the shelf over at blog talk radio where i host uh, a founder of fathers forever and i said what are the number one top three fears reasons why you think men abandon their children and he said a, one of them is a fear that they won't be able to provide fear of failure can cause us to run and flee and hide are you afraid to go to a new neighborhood because you think you won't be accepted there what 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 is love trying to tell you what does fear keep you hemmed in about and love's trying to set you free you might actually do these things because you're afraid you might actually perform better at something you're afraid of than you imagine that you will and over and over these things may happen so it's time you might perhaps you want to pay attention even as a as a as an author a book writer promoting your books is there a festival or an event you you're pretty sure your book would do well at introducing to new readers but you some part of you tells you they won't accept you it won't turn out well for you give yourself a chance to just try i heard, read a quote that said try something you're scared of at least once a day that's how we insert change and we don't get bored in life and frustrated so i encourage you 
to do that. What is love trying to say to you? I encourage you to be still, be quiet, and to listen. And to have the courage. You do have it. You just have to stir it up to take some action to bring good change, more joy, more peace, more love into your life. Thank you. Bye for now. And please visit us at Chistel, C-H-I-S-T-E-L-L.com and go over to Off the Shelf Radio with Denise Turney and check out some of our feature interviews. Thank you and bye for now.